if you want to get a film out there, you're going to have to start with a, a really you know, profound story. My first documentary was called Aisha Boko Haram Huntress, and it's about a woman who is a hunter, so a traditional hunter, as has existed across Africa, you know, since time immemorial. This secret society of hunters still exists, and Aisha happens to be one of them. When, unfortunately, uh, insurgents or terrorists came to her town in around 2014, Aisha, uh, the main protagonist, decided to stay along with other hunters who were mainly male and defend their town from terror. Aisha uh, played a you know, really significant role and then it turned out that women would come to her and ask um, her if they could, she could go into the forest, into the mountains with other hunters and look for their kidnapped children. What I love most about uh, Aisha's story is uh, a woman taking matters into her own hands, but also for the good of her community. An element of, of my sort of filmmaking journey, uh, or my journalism journey actually, has been about finding my roots or better understanding my African roots. I made radio documentaries and that took me to very, very rural places uh, in Africa. That evolved to uh, more photography and then to documentary filmmaking and really finding these characters that will just make people really think twice about what it is they thought they knew about Africa. It's very important for me to embed myself um, with the protagonist or the main character and eating the food that they eat and sleeping where they sleep, showing them that I have uh, stamina. Because I'm behind the camera, so I'm really, it's really about not being seen, not being part of the story, putting people at ease. And that's also one of the reasons I started off with the Canon EOS 5D. Essentially, I'm a run and gun filmmaker. I work in some pretty hostile environments. And so for me, in terms of a camera, what's really important is that it's robust. It can handle the heat. Um, but also um, shouldn't be too heavy. So I looked into it and the Canon EOS C300 was perfect. The C300, exceptional in terms of autofocus. I can just stay on my protagonist in all kinds of different situations. And I just love the colors, especially filming in Africa where you have really bright, rich colors and then making that transition from the Canon EOS 5D to the Canon EOS C300, then I can shoot in log and that just gives you so much more dynamic range and I really appreciate that. Over and above all, uh, what inspires me in my work are people, ordinary people who just choose to do extraordinary things people who are kind of bucking trends, turning stereotypes on their head. That's ultimately what I look for. Besides finding a character that's doing something extraordinary, I always like to sort of dig deep enough to find uh, an issue that they're trying to overcome that everyone, anywhere in the world could relate to. The advice I would give to an aspiring filmmaker is uh, similar to the advice I received myself when I felt I was ready to make a documentary, and that is, you know, start with a bang. Find a story that you can just describe in one sentence and it has wow factor and just go for it. <laughs>